So they say that you are cursed. You are cursed. Mais Jésus l'a accepté d'être appelé malédiction. To be called a curse. Amen. On a dit les jeudis ceci. On Thursday they say. Dieu son autorité dans sa gloire. God in His authority and His glory. Il avait cette capacité où il a. He has that ability. mais il a. He has cette capacité. That ability. Même jusqu'à aujourd'hui. Even till today. Juste un mot moqueur et puis tout. Just by one word and everything in the world will disappear. And he can restart again. Someone told me. Says, why does God never leave the devil? Why did God leave the devil till today? A l'honneur de ton Dieu, acclame, acclame bien aimé. Bete l'ensemble de ma poco, bete la ma poco. Il est digne de l'honneur, il est digne de la gloire, il est digne de nos louanges, digne d'adoration. Monte encore bien aimé, pousse des cris de joie. Alléluia. 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 Amen. 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 Oui, bien aimé, tu vas saluer celui qui est à tes côtés. Je dis, ça y est, tu as bien fait de venir dans la maison de ton Père. Salut celui qui est à tes côtés, bien aimé. Transmets la joie. Transmets la joie que Dieu a mis dans ton cœur à celui qui est à tes côtés. Dis-lui que non. Aux apports, Nathan, on a le Tu es belle, Nathan, on a le You look nice this morning. Je dis, ça y est, dis-lui. Oui, bien aimé, transmets la joie de Dieu. Transmets la joie de Dieu. Alléluia. 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 Amen. Oui, nous allons lire la parole. We're going to read the Bible. Dans le livre des gens. In the book of John. Le chapitre 3. John, verset 16. Verse 16. Jean 3, 16. John chapter 3, verse 16. Je lis la parole dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Amen. Amen. Par Dieu a tant aimé le monde. Il a donné son fils unique, enfin que quiconque croit en lui ne périsse point, mais qu'il ait la vie éternelle. Nous nous acclamons très fort pour la parole de Dieu. Oui, nous prions. Éternel Dieu, malgré le froid, mais nous avons pris la décision d'être à la montagne. Ils disent non, il fait tellement froid, non, je ne veux pas sortir aujourd'hui, je serai là à la maison. Pour me chauffer, mais nous, nous avons pris la décision. D'être là dans ta présence. Il y a une parole qui dit, c'est toi qui dis. There's a word that says, que personne ne vient vers toi no one comes towards you, et qu'il rentre tel qu'il était and and lives the same way. oui Seigneur mon Dieu mon roi yes, God, ce n'est pas Lord. devant un homme que nous sommes là It's not in vain parce que si c'était pour un homme Because if it was for in vain, oui on allait être dans la maison we were going to stay at home, en train de dormir comme d'autres personnes like other people. Mais comme c'est à cause de toi But since it's because of you, comme c'est à cause de toi, créateur de toutes choses, you, creator, nous sommes là devant toi, éternel. Accomplis ta parole. Accomplish your word. Parce que tel que nous sommes là, il y a des problèmes qui montent dans nos cœurs. Because as we are present, there are problems in our hearts. Il y a certaines choses, Seigneur, qui nous troublent, ça nous pousse à réfléchir comment trouver la solution. So, nous croyons une chose éternelle. And we believe something, Lord. Parce que Moïse l'avait compris, il a dit ceci. Moses Seigneur, nous n'allons pas coucher les cieux ton bois. Parce qu'à un moment donné, ils ont senti que tu étais absent. Mais pendant que tu étais là, Moïse voulait sentir voir les signes de la présence de Dieu. Il a dit que nous n'allons pas coucher jusqu'à ce que tu seras là avec nous. Oui, éternel. Nous voici dans ta présence. Nous disons comme Moïse, nous n'allons pas coucher de son endroit jusqu'à ce que tu feras quelque chose. Jusqu'à ce que tu feras quelque chose. Jusqu'à ce que tu feras quelque chose. La solution est à toi. The solution is only you. Nous voici avec nos problèmes. Here we are with our problems. 
Nous pourrons même dire que ce n'est pas nos problèmes, c'est à toi. Mais la solution qui est entre tous nous nous Et nous avons besoin de ça. Et nous avons besoin de ça. Il y a à cet endroit, Seigneur, d'autres qui sont malades. Lord, ça peut être la maladie spirituelle ou physique. Mais toi, tu as la capacité de changer cette situation. situation. Tu as cette capacité. Oui, cher Saint-Esprit. C'est toi qui glorifies le Père au milieu des saints. You glorify the Father among Et tel que nous sommes là, nous voulons que le nom de Jésus seul, seul le nom de Jésus soit glorifié. Jesus. Glorify, be glorified. Et Jésus, un jour, pendant qu'il était sur la terre, il a dit que l'Esprit du Seigneur est sur moi. When Jesus was on earth, he said, Parce que cet Esprit m'a loin pour guérir les malades. Oui, ce matin, nous avons besoin de cette onction. We need this anointing today. Il a dit pour proclamer une année de grâce. To proclaim a year of grace. Oui, nous sommes, Seigneur mon Dieu, mon roi, papa, au milieu de l'année, Seigneur mon Dieu. Père de gloire, et nous croyons que tu es capable, Seigneur mon Dieu, comme l'année pour certains n'a pas bien commencé, mais tu es capable de changer la mort. Vous allez capable. Vous allez être capable. Vous allez être capable. Libère l'onction qui était sur Jésus. Cette onction de guérison. Cette onction de proclamer de des années de grâce. Cette onction de proclamer la victoire. Cette onction de délivrer, Seigneur, le Père de gloire, les captifs. Nous en avons besoin ce matin. Nous en avons besoin ce matin. Oui, cher Saint-Esprit, glorifie le nom de Jésus. 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 Et c'est là dans le nom puissant de Jésus Christ. Jesus Christ. Nous prenons autorité contre tout ce qui ne glorifie pas ton nom. Nous rendons captifs dans le nom de Jésus. Tout esprit impur, tout esprit qui ne glorifie pas les noms de notre Seigneur. Nous sommes en train de les chasser loin de ce lieu dans le nom de Jésus. Et nous proclamons la liberté. Nous proclamons la paix. Nous proclamons même l'écoute. We proclaim even the listening de la voix de l'Esprit of the voice of the Spirit dans le nom puissant de Jésus. The name of Jesus. Nous avons très fort le roi. Amen. Love our God. Yeah, parce que ça nous sous ce là avant on a tout le monde de l'eau comme je disais en priant. Others are sleeping as I was saying while I was praying. Quand il est couché huit heures lève à Jésus pour la nuit. Eight o'clock. Come sees the 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 promise. He comes again, but you and I we took this decision of being here. Que notre Dieu nous bénisse ce matin. May our God bless us all this morning. Amen. Notre Dieu nous bénisse ce soir. Il est un Dieu merveilleux. He is a wonderful God. Et il mérite que nous puissions l'aimer. He deserves to be loved. Il mérite que nous puissions l'aimer. He deserves Et to be loved. Et ça se dit pas seulement, mais l'amour doit être posé aussi par des actes. Love is not just told, but is also shown through actions. Que notre Dieu soit glorifié. May our God be glorified. Je remercie aussi mon Père qui est l'ange de la maison. My Father is the angel of the house. De la maison. Ça, 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 ça doit être quelque chose automatique. Il ne faut pas forcer. Nous bénissons l'ange de la maison. Yeah. Il y a une bénédiction pour nous. Ce ouais. que nous sommes aujourd'hui, c'est parce que Dieu est passé par lui pour faire de nous ce que nous sommes. Ah. C'est pourquoi il faut toujours être reconnaissant envers l'homme de Dieu. Il est, il est en train de bâtir un grand travail en ce lieu. Si nous n'arrivons pas à remarquer cela, ou à témoigner ces choses. Mais Batalibana va se dire. The outsiders can see. Et ils sont en train de bénir Dieu pour l'œuvre que Dieu est en train de bâtir à travers ce monde. C'est pourquoi nous aussi, les enfants de la maison, nous devons reconnaître cela. Et bénir toujours Dieu pour ce qu'il est en train de faire. Parce que quand l'Église est bénie, 
c'est nous qui sommes bénis. We are blessed too. Amen. Quand il y a la manifestation de la gloire de When Dieu, uh, c'est pour notre bien. It's also for our good. C'est pour notre avantage. It's also for our advantage. C'est pourquoi nous devons bénir Dieu et continuer toujours à prier pour l'homme de Dieu. Bless God and enfin que Dieu puisse pour toujours God, à so that God can continue to use Parce que moi je vois ce qui est en train de se faire. Because I see what he's doing. C'est lui qui It's God who starts. C'est only the beginning too. Que les hommes spirituels the spiritual man arrivent à voir ce là où l'esprit est en train de yes. faire. May see where the Lord is taking us to. Que Dieu vraiment soutienne son serviteur. May God et nous nous remettons sur la présence de maman et nous bénissons Dieu pour ça. Maman, maman merci vraiment pour votre présence. Maman, merci pour votre présence. Maman, merci pour votre présence. Nous savons tous, maman a témoigné qu'il est dimanche passé, ce qui s'est venu de passer avec elle. Vous savez, Dieu, il a fait un grand chose. Il a fait de grandes choses dans sa vie. Et lorsque nous voyons qu'il est, elle, elle est là présente au milieu de nous, nous devons bénir Dieu. Vous savez, si on dans la cigère, il y a la détente que tu ne savais jamais, tu peux trouver des cigères, des cigares. On t'a dit dans le monde, tout 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 le ben, il dit que solution est Mais nous bénissons Dieu parce que nous avons toujours la solution. Nous avons toujours la solution. Et je crois bien aimé, malgré ce que tu es en train de faire, la solution est là. 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 Que vraiment notre Dieu soit glorifié pour ce qu'il a en train de faire dans la vie de notre maman. Amen. Nous avons encore Dieu pour ça. Et merci à vous, peuple de Dieu, d'être là. Et thank you to uh, members of God who are here. Malgré au Conti, au Tali, au Tali, au Tali, mais papa Zoya, 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 papa It says ah and he leaves. We have seen it before. C'est dit que tu comprends directement. You understand. Et ça nous n'a jamais pas parlé de ci. Comme vous t'as salué ma mère, elle est non mon naïve. Someone wants you to see and then he advises. Pour dire que on vient au théâtre. Why to say? What are you going to preach about? No, no, mais là. What are you going to tell him? C'est pourquoi je bénis vraiment Dieu. This is why I bless God for your presence. Amen. Et pendant que je parle, il y a, il y a, il y a, il y a tout le monde dans mon cœur. J'ai un truc, j'étais en train de dire à Dieu. Que nous allons battre comme ça pour nous. 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 Amen, 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 amen. Alléluia. God will surprise you. Amen. 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 C'est pourquoi là nous venons de lire. This is why we are reading in John chapter three. Dieu il a tant aimé le monde. For God so loved the world. Il a tant aimé. Yes. For God so loved the world. Vous savez si tu es en vie c'est à cause de l'amour de Dieu. You know if you are alive it's because of the love of God. Les enfants que nous avons c'est preuve de l'amour de Dieu. The children we have is proof that God loves us. Yeah 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 yeah. Quelque part là où qui nous demande de le valider. Somewhere someone was speaking, he said, ah, I looked at a, at a picture, a video, Je someone is throwing a child away. While other people are fasting prier. and praying, crying to God. 20 years, 10 years of marriage, there's no children. But someone uh, gives birth to a child and goes and throws them away. It's by then when I understood that even giving birth is the love of God. I remember back in the country there was a pastor. 
Ten years married. He's a man of God. He was praying for people. He was praying for the people of the church. For the problem of children not giving birth to him was receiving. But he spent ten years. Ten years. He's a man of God. Powerful. And preaching the word. You can feel the anointing of God. But without a child for ten years. There's a lot of stories the child fell down inside the toilet. That's why he threw away his child. God is punishing him. But the day God decided to bless him. He brought joy to the church and he delivered a lot of people. Amen. And this is the joy of the church. This is why, beloved, only because of children that you have, you need to bless God. Because God does not do things by mistake. Everything God does is for a goal. This is why I will give people an advice. No matter the, the state of your child, never declare something negative to him or her. The glory of God manifests according to God. God chooses the candles or the ways, the way he wants to use them. Others have seen the glory of God and through the children through their children I heard a testimony of when someone gave birth the child was sick and every time they went to the hospital and there was a problem and they got paid millions I'm sure when they gave birth, she saw that there is a lot of blessings, but she never knew that this was the voice of God. The name. This is why no matter the state of your child, you have to glorify the name of God. Always. Always. That's why Papa said, you see what Papa does here. This is why they always explain to us. There are other prayers he says, let's gather and show in the vision. Declare things upon your children's lives. It has a meaning. It has a meaning. Because I heard other people are cursing their children. Other people, they curse their children while they are crossing and they got bumped and the child died. Control your language, your tongue. We are not there to curse, but we are rather there to bless our children. Because in reality, they do not choose to come to this earth. They did not choose. Especially for parents, it's their own choice when you are accepted. Because other people, they gave birth, I mean, they have they are pregnant, but they could not give birth. Because even our body is also a sin. But you say, despite all things, let me give birth. Do not become a curse for him or her. Amen. No matter the state of your child, declare words of blessings only. This is why we speak about the love of God. We speak about the love of God. Who has not sinned? You see, all of us, maybe even before coming into this place, you sinned in your mind. But why does God continue to love us? Why does he continue to do so? This is where we read, For God so loved the world, 
complètement aimé le bas. For God so loved the world. C'est un que vous comme nous avons dit les jeudis, c'est ça une grande quantité. It's a love that we say has a huge quantity. Et l'amour de Dieu est sans fin. And the love of God is without end. Et cet amour est infini. And it's infinite too. Parce que la Bible dit qu'il nous a aimé le premier. The Bible says. Oh. Et preuve en est que la Bible déclare qu'il a des projets de paix et de bonheur pour nous. Et ces projets, ça ne commence pas parce que toi tu existes. Mais ça commence, il a déjà planifié cela avant même toi. C'est pourquoi il a même choisi une famille. Pour toi. Et pour toi. Il a choisi même des parents. Pour toi. 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 Parce qu'il n'y a vu plus de parents avec nous, ils sont quittés, ils ont quitté le monde. The parents passed away. Mais c'est que je réfléchissais beaucoup. As little as I was, I thought a lot. Et je suis même arrivé, c'est-à-dire qu'au dernier moment, quand tu regardais ce qui se passe avec d'autres personnes, tu penses comme si il y a la justice. I started thinking that even it's unfair because of what's happening to others. C'est aujourd'hui que je comprends que Dieu est toujours juste. It's today I understand that God is always right. Je crois que ça peut aussi arriver dans ta vie. À travers ce que tu es en train de traverser, tu penses que Dieu est juste. Whatever you are going through, you might think God is unfair. I heard other people say, "Ah, those people are not serious. We 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 are not serious. Mais c'est à nous, bien aimé. But it's up to us, beloved, to understand to His love and to be attached to it. Parce que la Bible dit, il attend. Et c'est ces gens qui parlent. The Bible says when John speaks. C'est-à-dire que je 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 me dis. It means I'm telling myself. C'est-à-dire que John a eu le temps de réfléchir. John had time to think about. Il a eu le temps de 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 faire des analyses. He had time to analyze. Et il est arrivé à la conclusion de dire. And brought to a conclusion. L'amour de Dieu est tellement. The love of God is such. C'est pourquoi moi quand je conseille des hommes, je leur dis ceci. So L'amour de Dieu est au-delà de ce que tu es en train de vivre. C'est-à-dire qu'après la souffrance, il y a l'amour. Pendant la souffrance, il y a toujours l'amour de Dieu. Ce n'est pas à cause de ta souffrance qui changera l'amour de Dieu. Jésus dit ceci. Aucune chose de vous, vous, nous, nous séparera de l'amour qu'il a manifesté. Nothing will separate us from the love that He has towards us. Aucune chose. Nothing. Est-ce que ça sera la mort Non. Si la mort n'a pas pu nous séparer, parce que c'est la Bible qui l'a donné. Et vous allez comprendre quand vous allez entrer. Il a donné non pas seulement un vivre, mais qu'il est même pour vous. Il a donné pas seulement un vivre, mais qu'il est même pour vous. Il a donné pas seulement un vivre, mais qu'il est même pour vous. Il a donné pas seulement un vivre, mais qu'il est même pour vous. Il a donné pas seulement un vivre, mais qu'il est même pour vous. Il a donné pas seulement un vivre, mais qu'il est même pour vous. Il a donné pas seulement un vivre, mais qu'il est même pour vous. Il a donné pas seulement un vivre, mais qu'il est même pour vous. Why did God so love the world? Je réfléchis et je 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 j'ai certains points que nous allons développer ce matin. Où je vais citer si on n'a pas le temps, je vais sauter. On parlera de ça. Na occasion, nous sommes au Dieu va nous donner. Or maybe I might pass on to another time God will give to us. J'ai compris que Dieu il aime tellement le monde. So love the world. Parce qu'il a investi de son temps. Because he invested his time in it. Amen. Le chapitre 1 et le chapitre 2, faute du temps, nous n'allons pas lire, vous allez même lire à la maison. Là, v
Il a pris son temps. It took his time. C'est pourquoi nous voyons la beauté qu'il y a dans le monde. This is why we see la beauté qu'il y a dans la nature. The beauty in the nature. Bah, maman, bah, 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 The things that last are the things of most value. So, if something is you if you read the Bible, God was going step by step. He took his time. Il a pris son temps. He really took his time. Dieu il a investi de sa gloire. God invested his glory. Vous voyez quand nous nous regardons la nature. Do you know when we look at the nature? Nous voyons la beauté qui est dans la nature. We see the beauty of nature. Nous allons comprendre que notre Dieu est glorieux. Then we will understand that si God la nature is peut être belle, de beau, le corps de mon arrangé moi. The nature can be as beautiful as we see. Pensons-nous maintenant la question. Now ask ourselves. How does God Himself look like? Vous savez de fois bien aimé. You know, Il faut aussi moi ça la canalité qui a tout à la documentaire qui parle de la nature. You need to Alors, get... Vous allez voir la you beauté qu'il y a dans la nature. C'est là que vous allez comprendre que non Dieu. That's when you la Bible that que Dieu est glorieux. This is why the Bible declares that God is glorious. Pourquoi? Why? Quand tu regardes seulement la nature. Because when you look at vous nature, allez comprendre. You will understand. Parlons des humains bien aimés. Think about human beings. Beloved, people look, look or seek to create another person that they love. Because the beauty God is created is above the intelligence of anyone. It's beyond the intelligence. It means God took his time even to create man. Man in nature. Nous allons y arriver, bien aimé. We will reach there, beloved. Ecclesiastes 3, le verset 1. Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1, the Bible says. Il y a un temps pour tout. There is a time for all things. Un temps pour toutes choses. Sous le ciel. Upon the earth, under the sun. Il y a un temps. There is a time. C'est pourquoi aussi Dieu, il a pris son temps. This is why God took his time too. Ah ben, il n'a pas créé les lumières. Il n'a pas créé les lumières. He created and separated. God took His time. C'est pourquoi bien aimé. This is why I love. Il faut aussi dans la vie. In life. Et donc enfant de Dieu. As a child of God. Quand il est question de la méditation de la parole. When it's time to meditate on the Bible, take your time. Quand il est question de la prière. When it's about prayer. Prends ton temps bien. Take your time, be love. Et ça va pas tout dire non méditation dans une des mesures basse à la ramou. That is not meditating the word. The Bible advises us to dwell. The Bible advises us to dwell. Meditation of the word. Take some time. C'était juste un conseil bien aimé. This is just an advice, beloved. Dieu il a investi de sa gloire. God invested his glory. La gloire où vous allez voir l'honneur de la terre. Il est nommé tout ça. C'est pourquoi bien aimé. This is why, beloved. À part Dieu il n'y a pas d'autre Dieu. Besides God there is no other God. Amen. Et ça là par exemple le Babylon a mis le or et nommé le mot et le Bible il y est pas d'après à un moment donné il va disparaître. They were shown Mais Dieu, depuis qu'il est Dieu jusqu'à aujourd'hui, à partir de la mort jusqu'à l'éternité, Till today, He will remain the same forever, until eternity. Parce que dans son autorité, Il a investi de sa gloire. Et dans le long moment où nous allons nous amener dans la place à Zali, Il nous donne la place à Zali. 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 Because if you see yes. God is first, yes. he is second. Yes. Besides God, there is no other. Second or third, there is none. Even when you think about divinity, it is not one person. 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 It is only one person. But who represents the three in one? God, the Son, the Holy Spirit. As the Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There's no one else. This is why we don't do not seek to replace God. Amen. Amen. Do not seek to replace God. Because how are we going to replace God? 
bless you but to do something for your wife you cannot this is why you understand why even God because of love accepted to separate himself with his child with his son he accepted this he will get to there on the cross Jesus said, Father, Father why did you abandon me? At a certain time, God left his child for love, because of love. But why did you not separate yourself from that sin? Why? It was a question, and I'm going over it. Amen. Il a investi de sa puissance. Il a investi de sa puissance. Pour savoir, vous pouvez lire Jean 11, 14. Pour sa gloire, vous pouvez lire Jean 11. Vous pouvez lire Psaume 24, le verset 10. Psalm 24, verset 10. Là où la Bible dit ceci. Qui est le roi de gloire? Le king of glory. L'éternel. Le maître des livres. Le master of the universe. Vous pouvez lire Psaume 57, le verset 6. Psalm 57, verset 6. Il a investi de sa puissance dans le monde. Il a investi de sa puissance dans le monde. Un chronique, le verset 29, le chapitre 29, le chapitre 29, le verset 11. La Bible dit ceci. 1 Chronicles 29, verset 11. À toi, éternel. To you, Lord. La grandeur. The greatness. La force. The strength. Et la majesté. La magnificence. L'éternité. Eternity. Et la gloire. And the glory. Car tout ce qui est. Car tout ce qui est. Au ciel For et everything sur la terre, on the earth t'appartient. Belongs to you. Amen. 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 Il est tout puissant. C'est-à-dire que la Bible reconnaît qu'il y a une puissance. Mais il y a un temps, mais dans la il y a un temps. Et ça, la puissance, c'est un côté qui peut se comparer. Même il y a un côté, même il y a un côté où ça n'a pas de paix. La puissance, c'est ça. Amen. Amen. Dieu, il a investi de sa beauté. Dieu a investi de sa beauté. C'est pourquoi je disais, quand vous regardez la nature, c'est pourquoi je disais, quand vous regardez la nature, vous allez voir la beauté de Dieu. If you take time to watch this documentary, you know they are still in the garden. They are being released. I mean, it means the animals came forth. God came forth. An animal from the fish, from the um the sea, he looks like a human, but it's a fish. Especially the, the marine documentary, the beauty, you will glorify God for this. You will glorify God. You will glorify God. Psalms 50 verse 1 and 2. The Bible says, Zion, beauty perfect. Perfect beauty. Dieu resplendit. God was splendid. Dieu resplendit. C'est lui que vous voyez la beauté de Dieu. See the beauty of God. Dieu a investi de sa beauté. The God has invested His beauty. C'est pourquoi je disais bien aimé. Permettez nous d'avoir une vie amoureuse qui va en personne. Parce que la Bible nous fait la promesse en disant que un jour, ton monde est dans le lit de Zarak. C'est quelque chose qu'aujourd'hui dans ton monde a été. Malgré ma beauté, mon qui est là, ça reflète juste la gloire, la beauté de Dieu. Mais ce n'est pas sa totalité. C'est pourquoi, bien aimé, quand la promesse publique nous a dit, autant les beautés à mon qui l'ont fait, ça n'a pas été. Ça veut dire que tu dois tout faire pour hériter le royaume. Parce que c'est quand tu hériteras, c'est alors que tu le verras. C'est pourquoi, bien aimé, ça n'a pas été. C'est pourquoi, bien aimé, ça n'a pas été. Au contraire, on a tout le monde à l'élo. 
Mais ce qui est mal, il y a des gens qui remplacent la place de Dieu. Mais remplacent jamais Dieu. Vous savez, il y a des fouets dans la cave. Si on a des lourds mots, on est des affalés. Si on a des lourds mots, on est des affalés. Si on a des lourds mots, on est des affalés. Si on a des lourds mots, on est des affalés. Si on a des lourds mots, on est des affalés. Si on et c'est le bruit beaucoup et d'attitude à battre dans le monde. Et this is the attitude of many in the world. Et là on est au Simba Ken. My thing do not touch. Mais là on est loco dans beaucoup. Puisque ton message dans la Congo, au moment où on a même atteint votre moi qui te coyote tel et nuage. I notice this even in the country. You see a car. You can't take a picture. 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 Il y a aucune chose qui sera valeur que plus que la vie de l'homme. That is more valuable than the life of man. Et dans les I'm telling you, brothers, rien. And sisters, nothing. Rien. Nothing. You have value. C'est pourquoi ne ne t'attache pas la bilan pour être sans valeur. Do not be attached to the bilan. Ose la valeur n'a pas de value. Mais attache à toi ose la valeur pour les cailloux. C'est à dire ose la valeur sans zombie né. There is there is God. Attache à toi. Be attached to God. Attache à toi. Be attached to God. Attache à toi. Attach yourself to God. Psalm 111, le le verset 1 à 3. Psalm 111. Là, vous allez voir la Bible. Le Dieu de l'Éternel. The Bible says, Praise the Lord. Je louerai l'Éternel de tout mon cœur. I shall praise the Lord with all my heart. Je louerai l'Éternel de tout mon cœur. I shall praise the Lord with all my heart. Je louerai l'Éternel de tout mon cœur. C'est pourquoi vous vous voyez, bah quand Pierre te l'a dit, il m'a dit on quoi ouah. C'est à dire que dans ma vie, nous 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 nous
against God, it will become evil. God will make you evil. On that day, I saw someone running away. God, he said, you know, what's wrong with this man? I did not know the lie. He was denying the right of God. Up until the day he repents, that's when I'm watching once again. Beloved, it's like this. You know, do not associate yourself with people who deny the name of God. This is the truth. Otherwise, you too will be stuck to it. You know the story of Jonah. Because the attitude of Jonah was to be the power of God. But he wants to go there. But he did not deny the presence of God. Amen. This is why his reaction when things were happening. I have the cause. Consciousness was there in no one's soul. Why did he act the way? And it's the way people act also in the church to reduce the beloved of God. Do not reduce the name of God, never. You never deny the power of God. He is the most powerful. He is the most powerful. He is the most powerful. By definition, we see the world, world is defined as together of whatever exists. This is the origin of the world, everything that exists. On Thursday, for God to love the world, it's no one yet. For God so much invested in the world, the beauty and everything that we read, the verses, you were going to see that they gave an example on Thursday. If you do something good, you are happy of that thing that you have done. You are good, you feel good, I did something good. Maybe you have a car or you're in a new house. Those who have houses, they know those who ask who want to buy, we hope to buy. I went to a house. I went to go cut a head. When I got into the house, below, you look at that house. When I went back home, I said, we are still playing around. We are still playing. But what made me happy when I pray is the person who is humbled out to earth. You will never believe him. If I leave in my car, he knows there is a pastor. You can see someone is coming. A pastor is in front of me. He can feel the consideration. He's humble. And my prayer is going to continue to bless him. I told him this is just the beginning. God will take you even further. Because he is a good teaching for me. Because God, God was, if you have 10,000, no one can speak to you. Who is going to tell you something? Other times, you, you hear, you are sharing, and you hear the contract. You say, Lord, let us be humble, beloved. This is why there is a way that is coming. As the Father it's not uh, whatever the Father declares is not by mistake. It's not by mistake. But when that time will come, when that time will come, beloved, humble yourself. Humble yourself. Uh, 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 a humble man. Even God, His goodness, the glory, the honor of God, he has. God humbled Himself. This is what the Bible says. Up until to a point, and He accepted to die on the cross. When I analyze the process that he had, 
for themselves the greatness of God for themselves and you see that in the end of the day the so, 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 so they say that you are cursed yeah. you are cursed Mais Jésus, il a accepté but Jesus accepted to be called a curse on a dit le jeudi ceci on Thursday they said God in his authority and his glory il avait cette capacité où il a he has cette capacité même aujourd'hui juste un mot mon corps et puis tout n'a aucune disparaître just by one word and everything in the world will disappear and he can restart again il y a même quelqu'un qui m'a dit c'est ah someone told me he says, why does God never leave the devil? Why did God leave the devil till today? He said, why did he leave him? I said, without. Do not think too far. What is true? I can tell you or prove to you in the Bible. You can see that the devil, the devil. God loves him too. I can I, I, I know it can astonish you. I shared a story about Job with you once. And I gave an example saying as I'm here, we are together talking. The person which we do not like comes in this place and we speak to them. Is it possible as a common person? Let us be honest. It means if you do it, it's by faithness. So let me leave it. God knows that's hypocrisy. If you are doing so, it's because of hypocrisy. That's not my point. The Bible says that the devil came to the presence of God. That presence that we are looking for. We want to feel that God is here. But the devil, he has access, he came into the presence of God. And in the story of Job, it's not just one time, it might be two. He entered into the presence of God. Maybe say the first time God left him, but why the second time again? And on Thursday I said, According to the Bible, according to the scriptures, if we say values and levels, we will know that Jesus is above. But according to the Bible, it is not only Jesus, the Son of God. Are you aware? Are you happy? If you read Genesis chapter 6, you will hear that the Bible says the, children, the sons of God. The sons of God. Maybe you'll be surprised that the devil is also the son of God. I don't like touching it because it leads you to be taught not to be preached. It means beloved. God accepted. This is why I ask the question. Out of all of us, who did not say no one amongst us is perfect? Yes, as I'm preaching, I'm also not perfect. I also have my weaknesses. No one here is perfect. I repeat it every time. You know that it's not today that I only say. I say it is usually. You know when I give you advice, I only speak about this. Beloved, if God is doing something with you, manifesting His power, you can see that He is anointing. Do not think that. No. There are some times God will manifest His presence. Amen. 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 Amen.
We saw other people jump by entering in the church. The church, the legs become like they are crippled, they can't walk anymore. Because as you are here, God is there too. He said he is correct with his word. When two or three are there, I am there. As you are here, God is there. That's why I said, do not think too far. Because the presence blesses and curses too. Blesses whoever is connected. Curses whoever is thinking in a different way. This is why I'm When I start preaching, Papa even gave an example. He gave it to me for the fifth time. Why does it come to my mind? I don't know. Beloved, the message is never for your neighbor. The message is never for your neighbor. You know, even as I'm preaching here, I'm not, I'm not preaching for you. I'm first preaching for myself. Because what I say is also concerning me too. It concerns me too. Because I've heard someone is con condemning people. He's not condemning, but he's preaching. But he knows he's also preaching to himself. Even though I have said that I'm not perfect, but it does not stop me from preaching. Because if you preach God in the same way, no one will ever preach. Only God will come down and preach. Because even black people were like that. They who say, nah, is that God perfect? They, they say that whoever is perfect is holy. But he preaches the word. He preaches the word as his day is preaching. Or you might say, say, the pastor is preaching like this. What about him? It's not about what about me. It's about the word. It's also preaching to me too. This is why we should leave the habit in the church. Because you will see in the church. I'm no more happy with saying amen in the church. Why? Other people they say amen to pick up the church. Outside you might find a dead person. He said, Did you hear today? And you preach. That person heard about this. He said, did they preach to you or did they preach to other person? But this person is saying amen. 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 May God help us. May God help us. This is what Thursday I said. The church of God, we need to stop being hypocrites. If you do not stop, it will not take you anywhere. It's like you're turning around in circles. You are turning around in circles. I asked myself a question. People have been speaking to me about it. Why, beloved? Let us ask ourselves. Why does when an English person comes to the church, it does not last for too long? Did you ask yourself that question? It's because of you and I. The attitude we portray, the behaviors. This is why I tell people we are in an English This is not back home. This is not Congo. We are not in Congo here. Sometimes it will be a it's not by power. Because it's power. It's to be explained. How are you going to explain it? How? In which language? You won't explain it in the language. You won't explain it in French too. You know. You see. You explain it in English. You connect. You walk. As you see it and you understand it, this is why when the English person comes, he is happy with the church and feels that God is with him, but they're not at ease. Why? Because of the language. The language. 
English speaking people, then why are you here? If you are not an English speaking person, go to another place. In Algeria, they speak French. In Tunisia, and go there. Or you can go to Congo Brazzaville. Even in Côte d'Ivoire, also speaking it here, yeah, you're going to be not at ease. This is why someone for 20 years, where you going? Can you accompany me? He wants you to accompany, he wants you to go speak for him. He's been here for 20 or 15 years. This is not normal. You know, the love of God puts everybody at ease. They don't put people at ease in the church. And what we need to place in our minds is we use the term mentality. But the church does not believe she not to the church. Put the, the church in our minds outside of the church. The church does not belong to one race. You will see they did not come from the same place. Jesus Christ was there in different places. Means if we took the different tribes and we placed them together, we make them. Now ask, what is stopping them from communicating? Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. It's a good thing because we communion the Holy Spirit. But when they were speaking, because if the Spirit speaks, you might not listen. But the Spirit goes through a language that we can all understand. Like here, in this country, whatever is mixing all of us together is what English. It's English. Because if a pastor person is speaking, and a Zulu person is speaking, time, when they start speaking, they are all language they might not understand. But what it makes it easy for everyone is they are speaking English to each other. It's the same way in the church. We are not in Congo, please be loud. If you go ask somebody to say, I will come. When you're when you insist, just to hear someone say, even uh, somebody who was singing in the choir, she used to be in South Africa, but she was singing. She was expecting to sing song, but I didn't even know why. Why? Because of the language. I tried to learn, and she spoke to me, and I prayed for her up until she told me, I'm not comfortable. I say, why? I say, there's everything. It's perfect. It's okay. Then what is it? I was not feeling that I'm welcome. Never feel I'm not welcome. Welcome, I mean, me long. Because of the language. It's speaking. Language. It's as if they are insulting them. Gossiping about them. You can reduce the power of the communion that is established in the church because of the language. This is why, because of the love of God, we can give the Lord the love. Go and learn. Go and learn the language. I know people that take here and there and they mix together. Do you know this is why I'm love? Because of love. Because of the love of God. Beloved of God, let us learn the language. 
Otherwise, we will make other people run away. English people run away. Because at home I say, even in my prayers alone, I'm trying, I'm doing them in English. I, I tell even the Papa, it was my mistake, I should have been there to continue there. Maybe today I would have been translated because you know what is the mistake. You might know the language, but translating it is different. To stand here is also different. And also with the speed and the anointing comes, you need to be strong. This is the truth. This is why you see sometimes no, she is says, no, I did not say this. <laughs> this is the church. We need to put everybody together. It's not only for communist people. The pastor may be there. This is when the pastor says the papa provision. We are the provision. The strength is not only when the father is preaching, but if us, the church, can put uh, the English speaking person at ease. Even when the Papa is speaking English, they won't um, see. This is why even translators, we need to do research. To know the language doesn't mean you can try. This is it. Let us put our English speaking people at ease. I don't know why God made me to insist on this. Let us place them at ease. When my mom and came in the church, she had a problem with that. I told her she must learn. But if we help her to get to this level, what about us with English? When you force another person, you also do the effort too. It's like an exchange. And this is why, you, how you will see that there won't be any more space. Because in reality, there are other times we have to speak to ourselves. In reality, you see, if a lot of English-speaking people enter a lot, there are less problems. Amongst ourselves, we have a lot of problems. I was speaking with a beloved not so long ago. The church is there to give value. This is the mission of the church. This is why God says the spirit. The spirit of God is the spirit of order. This is why even if you have order, I mean, the spirit is full of you, the Lord, the spirit will leave you. Let us support one another. It's not only Congolese, one another. That is the church. I saw a beloved today, even today, the English people told them, today I speak, maybe they might leave for one, after one month. Why? Because the church will end today. Instead of speaking to the sister, putting her at ease, no. Why? Because of the language. We are chasing people because they are not at ease. We are going to stand on our feet. We are going to pray to God. Let us tell God your love, your love, your love in our life. Because we can give examples. But as we are here, you know the way you can define the love of God in your life. Because we said love is not just words, but it's the spirit, it's also action. 
je vous aime. Amen. 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 Amen.